He really hasn't spoken to me after that day. He'll barely look at me, even when I'm standing right in front of him. But as much as he tries to deny it, he knows that no matter what, I'll still be his son. His only one at that. He can't change that or the fact that this is who I am. All I can really do now is live by my own truth and then maybe someday I'll actually start to feel like I'm free. Thank you for sharing, Curtis. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. sharing. I just want to remind y'all that this place, this room, these people are all a safe space for you. Everyone in here is a part of this family, so you don't ever have to feel like no one has your back, okay? So would anyone else like to share? I'll go. I came out when I was uh, 16. The first person I told was my best friend at the time. She laughed after I said it. When I asked her what was funny, she said that I didn't look gay. Now that actually really made me laugh. When I asked her what a gay person looked like, she paused and the look on her face said everything that she was thinking but wouldn't say. As your best friend who's known you for a very long time, I don't think you're gay. You're probably, you're probably just confused and that's okay. I'm always here. If you need to talk. But she had already said enough. When I looked back into her eyes, it was like looking back at a complete stranger. The next day, I was sitting alone in the cafeteria, and her and a couple other girls came over. Lisette, she says, I didn't mean to be so hard on you yesterday. I mumble, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Other girls are looking at me kind of funny. I think I know what the problem is. There is no problem. I'm gay. Why can't you just accept that? She's telling me to keep my voice down, but I was just so tired of being silent. One of the girls turns to me and says, Do you watch Orange is the New Black? watch it sometimes. The first season had just come out on Netflix. I knew it. It's a really entertaining show, but what was that? There's like a lot of articles saying that ever since the show came out, no pun intended, that a lot of girls are out there thinking that they're homosexual just because of how the show makes it look like it's fun to be a lesbian. Actually, let me show you the article right now. She pulls out her phone to look at this article and I walk away before she even reads it to me. I, I haven't told anyone since then, except for you guys now. But it's safe to assume that people know. I just don't care anymore. I'm not hiding it. Thank you for sharing, Lissa. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing. sharing. Now, if nobody else wants to share, I think we can wrap it up for today. Yeah. Okay. See you all next week. Oh my gosh. Hi, Adriana. Hey. How's it going? I'm Haley. Remember me? We were in the same ELA class for like two years. Yeah, the school was just only a year ago. <laughs> so true. But it feels more like a decade. So what have you been up to? And why did you cut your hair? It was so cute in that little box that you used to have. A lot more than my hair has changed. I don't go by Adriana anymore. It's just Adrian now. What? Why? I'm non-binary, so I don't identify as male or female. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Um, okay, but that doesn't make any sense. How so? You were born a girl, so you can only use girl bathrooms. Why are you making it so complicated? I don't think it's that complicated. I prefer to use neutral bathrooms, but when there are none around, I just use women's. Huh, okay. So you like only dress in guy clothing and all that? 
I don't see clothing as male or female. I just wear what I want to. But like, this is just so weird. You weren't like this in high school. What happened? Sorry, I gotta get someone. Oh, okay. Be the sign. Only people with dicks belong in here. Do you have a dick? Oh, really? Some must mean you have a pussy, though. Prove it. Let me see, let me see that pussy. Not gonna show me? Alright, I guess I'll just take it. Alright everyone, it's nice to see y'all again. Um, if no one's ready to share just yet, we can try to mix it up today. Okay, so let's wait, try to wait. do a quick... Uh, I'm sorry, is it okay if I go? Of course, whenever you're ready, Adrian. It, it was never easy to explain to anyone that I'm not finding me. Many don't understand even when they try and many just don't want to. I was once told that I was just asking to be killed by choosing to be this way. As if being assigned female at birth made my life any easier. I tried really hard senior year. So hard to make my identity known and normalized. I started a Rainbow Alliance in my school, but no one joined that. Every time the teacher would call on me, I'd have to correct them and tell them that my name is Adrian, not Adrian. No one ever called me my right pronouns. I know it was hard and confusing, especially when I've been called she up until then, but it really hurt that nobody really tried. I even started wearing this button that said, they, them, theirs. Some people thought it was cute, as if I was trying to make a fashion statement. I overheard one of my teachers saying that this is one of the weirdest phases that he has ever saw a student go through. I could have looked at it all. I started to just ignore it after a while, but... But one day, something happened that I couldn't just ignore. Do you mind if I sit here? No.
do you mind if I talk to you? No. I want to ask you something, but it's a little personal, so you can choose not to answer. Was, was your attacker ever punished for what he did to you? Never told anyone, so no. I guess he wasn't punished. Not even your parents? Just the people in our group? I had enough stuff going on. I didn't want to deal with a possible trial on top of things. I understand that. I know it's corny, but I'm really glad you opened up to us today. It's the first step in healing. No, that's why I did it. Do you want some? I. I always get hungry after crying, and I read this thing that crying makes you lose calories or something like that, so I'm just 